Let's go to the central region where the Cape Coast Metropolitan Assembly and the Education Directorate are working at improving infrastructure. One of the oldest schools in Cape Coast, the Jubilee Catholic School, is receiving attention. Classes are suspended any time it rains due to flooding. Bright and Anamfo reports a new roof has been completed while efforts are underway to rehabilitate the entire structure. It was sung by the left mark time. The school is about 80 years old. It has trained several highly educated members of society, but the structure had been left to deteriorate. Metro engineers say the structure is strong and solid, but the roof leaks badly. Anytime it rains, lessons are disrupted. Sometimes the school, the classroom has already flooded. When we get inside the classroom, in fact, it's very difficult for us to teach. The decks are wet, children cannot even sit on the desk. So sometimes we have to ask the children to leave the classroom, wait for some time for the desk to get dry. This had a negative effect on teaching and learning. The Metro Assembly was recording very poor records. The problem has to do with the uh, rotten iron sheets. And then that uh, causes the entire system. Because when they reinforce, it gets to the blocks. And then you see cracks in the whole wall. And as soon as the rain even start drizzling, no schooling could be held uh, Because the whole first floor, I mean the top one, will leave provisionally. School authorities were worried, and so a quick fix was needed. The Metro Assembly came to the aid of the school. We reported to the Assembly uh, about a couple of years ago, and last year they captured in their Assembly budget. But about a month ago, they started work on it. Actually, the basic work has to do with the roofing and then the ceiling. Because of the rains, uh, the leakages, all the, I mean, the box, the wooden box are also rotten. So work, assembly has done well, work has started. A new roof has been fixed. The last school term delayed the completion of works. And district education authorities say the whole building will be rehabilitated once work on the roof is completed. As I speak now, roofing work has uh, started and we are waiting for the rest of the work to be completed. The Metro Education Directorate says enrollment is encouraging and so the necessary infrastructure must be put in place to ensure every child gets the opportunity to have quality education. We are not leaving them behind. Even though the sea is there, and when you go there, they are also there. But I've been getting them all the time here. There was a time about a month ago, a boy came with a mother that uh, he wouldn't go to school. That he would like to join the friends in fishing. Yeah. That's where they can get instant benefits. The cooperation between the Education Directorate and the Assembly is achieving results in improving education. This structure is as old as Methuselah, constructed in 1939. It has certainly battled the vagaries of the weather, and the roofing and several other parts are giving up. But the Cape Coast Metro Assembly and the Education Directorate are bent on ensuring that teaching and learning is done in a congenial environment. They are making all efforts to have the problems fixed, though funding remains a challenge. But the commitment is there, that this structure will be renovated to ensure a congenial learning and teaching environment. Bright Nananfo, TV3, Cape Coast. <laughs> And as it's for Mission, Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU. Thanks so much for watching.